A cold start to our Wednesday morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Laura Garcia. And I'm Marcus Washington. We have team coverage for you on those freezing temperatures throughout the Bay Area. On Chris Sanchez, she's looking at the potentially life-threatening impact that those without shelter are having. Our Mike Inoue, he is actually tracking the possibility for even some black ice on some roads. But let's start out with meteorologist Kerry Hall this morning talking about these overnight temperatures. Another very cold start. Yeah, now we have the freeze warnings and frost advisories to go along with it, even though we've been seeing this kind of weather for quite a while and now we are going to see that continue this morning up until nine o'clock and then it will be allowed to expire before most likely being reissued for tomorrow morning. So these areas in purple are under the freeze warning where temperatures are colder compared to what we're seeing for the inner bay and the coastline and still even in those areas when temperatures drop at 37 or below it may deposit a layer of ice on your windshield or any elevated surfaces and so we're below freezing right now in Palo Alto and Scotts Valley, freezing in San Martin and in Dublin as well, as well as much of the North Bay where we had the freeze warning continuing. And now let's turn to today in the Bay's Chris Sanchez. Chris, this cold weather is turning deadly in the South Bay. Yeah, Carrie, even without the soaking wet rain, these cold temperatures are really dangerous for people who are living without shelter. And that turned deadly in the city of San Jose, right in the downtown area. I want to show you a map. Two people were found unresponsive and later were declared uh, uh, that they had died um, in that area there in yellow on your screen. The Santa Clara County Medical Examiner would not release more information over exactly where or how they were found, uh, protecting their privacy and waiting to notify next of kin, according to the Mercury News. Now, we know that outreach teams are out making sure that people know about shelters and warming centers and also handing out cold weather gear to people who want to stay put where they are. All of our program teams are out there in full force. Um, you know, we have street-based outreach that's also getting the word out with cold weather shelter programs and, and just really making connections to all of the folks out there to encourage people to come in and stay safe, distributing, you know, those needed items if people need them and don't, don't want to come in. Now, if you are in a position to support that effort, you can email Home First at that address there on your screen. You can also shop easily through their Amazon wish list. Right now, they really need blankets, coats, hats, gloves, other cold weather gear. Now, California families are paying about $900 more to stay warm at home. According to the National Energy Assistance Directors Association, that's about 17% more than last year. And according to that director of that organization, the prices today are the highest they've seen in 15 years. Now, just yesterday, we got new inflation numbers showing a bit of relief in terms of fuel costs, but not in time to keep the house warm through this cold snap. Now, there are assistance programs if you can't pay your power bill, but remember, it's not more efficient or safe to use your oven nor any propane or charcoal heaters indoors. Now, if you need, know somebody who needs a warm place to go uh, stay safe through this cold snap, we do have a list of warm warming centers on our website. Uh, as we were getting in the car this morning, we saw that little light talking about possible ice on the roadways. I know, Mike, you know what you're tracking that. We are tracking that, Chris. And in fact, you know what? Carrie talked about elevated roadways or also the windshields. We're also talking about elevated surfaces like the BART tracks. Thank you. And BART issued, actually, you're welcome for that. BART issued an official warning. Uh, they're calling out icy conditions instead of rainy conditions as we've had over the last few weeks. And that may be an issue for braking safety. Frost on the tracks would mean it slows the braking system. And so we're going to make sure they slow those trains down just a tad bit. Meanwhile, we're looking at the fog, a potential for frozen black ice on the roadways up here. There is a crash on 101 heading down in toward Novato. No indication that it's due to weather, but we'll continue to track the updates. A typical pattern through Contra Costa County with this time of year, lighter traffic and easier flow, but there is still the backup at the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza. And we continue to follow this alert since early morning in San Jose. We now are down to just one lane blocked North 101 at Hellier, but with all of this backup that's continued to form over the last couple of hours, we have folks taking 85 over to 87, so that is shifting your commute. And we'll talk about the alternates and the problem there coming up.